Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Uh, let's see how this goes. Fakum Lam. I'm just going to play a little bit of Fakum Lam here. Uh... I don't think I do excellent on this. I think I drop a lot of shit, but you know, it's a learning experience for me regardless, so. Hmm. It's a long load time. What's happening? Gigas. Round one. Why has he got a turtle on his back? I like that lashing kick. Uh, but like, it's not instant on its come out and you are vulnerable during the startup, so. I use that a lot back. Like, that combo. I'm actually trying to do another combo, but I forgot the inputs for this, so I'm just kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I keep reviewing my memory lately. It's really bad. Yeah, spin kick. Costume is just really like what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> like a weird fight. choice. Two different colors of leather, really? It's not even a nice leather jacket, man. It's a generic leather jacket that you can put on any character. A lot of peeping, a lot of kicking. The, the detailing on his face and like the scars and the hair textures and the tattoos and the fact that they're all like not just one texture like and the veins and shit it's like there's a lot of work on him to make him look as fucked up as possible you know what I mean <laughs> uh a lot of work into his character design. I feel like he's kind of over-designed, if that makes sense. Like, there's just too much going on. Round one. Fight. Like, they could have narrowed him down a bit, or they could have, to make him more realistic, his, like, hands and shoulders are too big, or, like, the tattoos are a little, like... <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Still a fun character to play as. He's angry because I wrecked him in the first match, so I've got to try and focus here, but like... Go for the high roundhouse, then into a teep, but he missed the teep. I'm finding throwing with Arkham whenever I'm at a stalemate with some kind of mix up. Now I sit there and think, oh, he's just blocking everything. Like, fuck it, I'm just going to throw in a throw. Destabilize him a bit. Yes, yeah, so I'll put the AI in a sense of fear. But you know, you do something to one AI, like so, some AIs in these games, you just anti-air them a couple of times every time they keep trying to do a jump in and they won't jump in anymore. Or if they spam projectiles for too long in like certain things you can just kind of show that you know how to beat that and they'll stop doing it. Round one. 
fight. That, that combo again. <laughs> with that kick and then knee while he's in the air. Yeah, this isn't going well. Oh, I saved that one, but like... See, a lot of my moves I'm doing way too close and they're way too slow to come out so that's my fault gotta start off with lights a little more often just a swift jab to end it <laughs> like Yeah, I can't believe I completely forgot that combo. I think it's like, I want to say it's square triangle X. Oh God, I can't remember for the life of me. Is it square triangle circle? But I was doing that and it brings up the standard combo. Um, square triangle X something, square triangle square X. God, I can't remember it. It's like a staple as well, and I keep fucking forgetting it. It goes into a lot of his stuff, like the uh, thunderstorm and like the uh, the knee and like the Ramasura. I think it does as well. So I'm here. I'm relying on a lot of static like hits that have certain properties that keep him knocked down and shit. Like you know, just stuff that's gonna cause him knock down. Flashing kick. <laughs> Straight up low punch there. Round <laughs> two. Fight. I like that charging punch there, but it's uh, long to come out and it's a bit of a pain. Good when it hits, but it doesn't always hit. I need to stop spamming rage arts, holy shit. <laughs> Every time I'm like, uh, fuck it, rage art. <laughs> mm. Oh, look, I got the. the, the, the Traditional headband things. I've forgotten the name of it. Holy shit. Oh, come on, loading. I don't want you to do a match. Wow, this is long. What the hell's going on? Is it changing background? It is. <laughs> what the fuck, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got a blonde beard and then a long black mullet? What the fuck? Man, Paul. They mean Paul. Weird ass, mean fucking like, outfit this time. It's not even this one, but it's still the one he's wearing in his portrait up there. It's just like, what the hell? Round two. Fight. I like that jumping teeth, it's pretty good, it's got good reach. Fuck with some people with that. I like that kick I'm doing where I hurt their leg and then sweep them. There's a lot of like pressure that you can do with Fakurama if you make them all 
coincide that I'm failing to do because I'm I don't play this game enough and I don't practice enough. But a lot of pressure you can put on the guy. He's a very angry looking man. Oh yeah. Round one. This Feng Wei outfit. Fight. Honestly, in this, I just get fucking wrecked because he just puts, he just hits a button that is always better than my button in a lot of cases. Like he just interrupts all of my hits and I just do some bad decisions too. I don't play as Feng Wei. I did in Dark Resurrection because I basically went through the entire cast in Dark Resurrection. And, uh, yeah, he's got some stuff, but, like, honestly, I think I preferred him in Dark Resurrection. In this, I'm just deeply confused by a lot of his stuff. This outfit, though. God, what is that outfit? <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't play against Feng Wei enough to know what's going on with Feng Wei. I see, I pressed rematch hoping that I could get another try against Feng Wei here, but they just straight up changes the character you're fighting against, and I'm not happy about that. Good elbow chop down there. Every time, the good thing about playing fighting games instead of playing other uh, video games for me as well is that it really inspires me to do more working out and to do more martial arts training myself. So it's good in that sense. It keeps my fitness in check and like I've been improving my diet lately. So that's always been very inspiring for me. I know that's weird, but like whatever makes you get up and actually work out right. Red Dead does not. Red Dead just is just a drain of my time. I'm getting a bit burnt out on it lately. Like, there's enough movement. There's enough onto Farquharams and Josie's moveset that it's representative to some degree of Muay Thai. That's the great thing about Tekken is the moves they're doing actually are, to the most part, moves, <laughs> like, or at least, like, somewhat reminiscent, whereas, like, a lot of Street Fighter characters are just magical bullshit. <laughs> like, you know, and you're just like, okay, that's not even close for my brain to go, hey, we should do those practice our roundhouse kicks, because I'm pretty sure Sagat doesn't even have many roundhouse kicks, which is like a staple of Muay Thai. He also doesn't even teep that much. He's too busy tiger kneeing and shit, which is also, like, the knee is, like, a big part, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to say Tekken is by any means realistic, but it does have movements that are low capped and you're like, that's a movement that's related to a martial art. <laughs> like, and Street Fighter has that a bit, but it's not a lot. Like, you know, give Jury as an example. Taekwondo Master. I have never seen anyone in Taekwondo do the shit that Jury does, and I'm not even talking the Feng Shui engine shit. I'm just talking her normals. Or like a basic special of hers, like her like cartwheel kick. That's not like Huarong's a bit closer. You know what I mean? That's just what I'm saying. Like Beck and Huarong are actually like closer, as in they are reminiscent <laughs> and have move sets where you're like, hey, that's a thing I saw on YouTube when I watched that Taekwondo demo video. You know. That's what you want, right? Enhanced, like, 
martial arts fantasy shit where it's like this shit actually is usable in a competition <laughs> not just high risk no reward bullshit <laughs> it's actually usable oh Jin is just killing me thanks Jin your stupid plastic mac and your little wellington boots his Wellington boots. I can't stop looking at his pink boots. They're awful. Why would he think that was a good choice? <laughs> That's the AI. I got hit out of that stance a second ago and it didn't work. I'm gonna do it three more times in a row just to see. They obviously don't learn like I was theorizing before. I mean, to be fair, he did that three times. The first time I kicked him out of it, the next two times I didn't. So obviously he had a point. Pretty sure I lose this match too. Can't remember, it was a while ago. He just trod on me, what a little bitch. He's still going for that stance there. That's not going to hit. Oh, I did. Still. <laughs> Stop using it. Stop it. He's going to kick me now. Oh, good. Squished. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to start playing Katarina Alves again. She was pretty good fun to play. Oh, I need. To, I have so many kick, kick, rush down, kick, kick characters that I like to play as, but I'm actually not good at them. I just hit lots of buttons, and I'm like, go, 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 kick, 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 kick. Yeah, I win. <laughs> it's just like, mm, maybe I need to learn this stuff a little bit more. Round one. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> There's some quite entertaining, like, almost randomly generated, like, AI costumes in t Treasure Mode. You've got to respect that. Yeah, Dashing Street. I like the Dashing Street punch. That counter has never worked for me because the AI knows the counter and just stands there or just does a special that doesn't technically contact it. Again, I don't really like fighting Jack. He's not as bad as, say, Kuma or Panda, but he's still, like, that one of those annoying so large you can't really see what's happening kind of thing and he's just got some weird movements that I don't like fighting against. Fuck your balloon, sir. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Edge Lord himself. Oh. What an angry Edge Lord. Flipping laser. I'm <laughs> just trying to interrupt all of this heavy bullshit, and it's like. Wasn't enough. I don't remember if I beat him. When in doubt, turning kick to the head. 
Except they duck a lot of the time. Oh. That move is bullshit and I hate it. And like, you know, it's not just Devil Jin that has that. That's Heihachi and Kazuya, have that stupid uppercut that just comes out and then you can juggle you with the same friggin' uppercut and you're like, oh, yeah, that doesn't feel good ever. Back to his home planet. <laughs> Colorful hair for Farquharon. So shiny. Some of the costume choices in Tekken, I don't think I have to say it. A little weird. A little like they think it's cool, but actually is really just like... Why would I want to put angel wings on this character? Hey, it's Geese. Geese. I should get Geese. Double Rapukan. Final Rapukan. <laughs> You should have repukened. Round two. Fight. There's a lot of me grounding him. And here just using a lot of the kicks, because Fuck Around's range is much better than a lot of the characters because of his like reach. So it's a lot of the time just like tagging them when they're trying to do big hits. You just like tapping them and it's just doing a little damage, but it's um, it's just like knocking them out of stuff, destabilizing them just enough for you to put a heavy hit in. I think I could be lying. I could be bullshitting, but it's okay. First time I fought this lady, Fight. Kunimitsu. Hey, that looks very much like Yoshimitsu. <laughs> I've never really played as Kunimitsu. It's <laughs> like so quick, quick tap on the floor just to make sure she's just I win the round. <laughs> she's doing a lot of flippy shit that I was like, wait, what? <laughs> she brought a knife and she's still losing. <laughs> I often do that pinwheel as like a taunt. <laughs> he actually has a real taunt, but I always use that taunt. Use that as a taunt, like, look, I'm doing a, flip, a, a somersault. Pointless. I'm better off doing the axe kick. What, because if they run forward, like, I get you, I can axe kick them back down. Oh, yeah. Fuck fighting this guy. <laughs> oh, man, I hate fighting uh, Devil Kazuya. Like, why does he have so many mi different forms of the devil version? Like, why does he have, like, a devil trigger and then a sin devil trigger before DMC even invented this? You know, there's, like, I'm a purple guy, and look at me, I'm now some weird Resident Evil DMC Hellspawn creature. For anime's sake. It's like, you know, there's there's... I'm trying to still get the ladies devil Kazuya, and then there's fuck it, I've lost my humanity devil Kazuya. Like, what the fuck? He actually doesn't put up much of a fight here. I was going in thinking, oh shit, I'm gonna have to pull everything out here, and he's actually not like. Oh. 
I say that, and then he starts bringing out the tail shit like he's Freezer. Good. I'm glad I've done no damage to him. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, electric wing godfist. Fuck. Whenever you hear Ladori, I'm just thinking, oh, here we go. Here comes the electric uppercuts. There we go. <laughs> Not gonna hit. Hit. <laughs> I always forget the range of these things are just so way too big. Am I gonna get this? Yeah! Sometimes you just gotta go for the simple shit. Man, I'm in love with Fucker Arms fighting style. I went for a lot of the Tekken characters and just played them in training mode just to see what they have. And in a lot of cases for Tekken 7, the new characters, I was a bit like, oh, is that it? Like, I really wanted Claudio to be something really cool. And then the stuff he has is okay. It's just okay. It feels like there could be more depth, you know what I mean? Same with uh, the German guy, Leo. Like, I know he's not new to this game, but I, like, I think just wasn't for me and Gigas the same. I was like, oh, I was really expecting Gigas to like be the replacement Marduk when he came in and he just really wasn't. And then I was kind of disappointed by Marduk as well. Here I'm just kneeing King in the face. Or Armor King in the face until he backs off. <laughs> he does not back off. Oh, 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 yeah. Somehow I survived. <laughs> that was the appropriate <laughs> response to getting rage jarted. Was to immediately stand up and do exactly the same thing to him. Round two. Fight. Butterfly, armor king, 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 because he has a crown too. No one falls for that. The AI never falls for any of the like stances where you're in a counter stance, do they? Very rarely. You win. Usurper. Great, I got a hairband I've made of flowers for Josie. That's very important. Ah. <sighs> Shall we talk about that? Do we have time? How much is left on this? That might be the last one, actually. Oh, there's loads left. So, uh, yeah, uh, just gonna go ahead and say, if you play a female character in Tekken 7 and you try and get her a good outfit, like, trying to find a good outfit for Josie that wasn't literally, let's see how naked we can make her, was just pain. <laughs> it was just pain. But I, I like, uh, you'll see it when I actually play Juicy, but basically I put Juicy in jeans and a t-shirt. Because I'm literally just sat there like, I just want to play the character. I'm not here for the pervy DOA shit. Can we just get on with this? You know what I mean? And every time I'm sat there like, come on, man. Just put some like actually good looking clothing in. Not like just his bikinis 1 through 25. For all of the sweaty perverts. I mean, like, Asuka's outfit is not too bad. Although it's still booty shorts. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? At least it matches, but like... For Josie, there was hardly anything, and I don't like her default costume. I think Josie's default costume looks really weird. I don't really like the, like, silk shirt, weird short thing, and the hairband. It just feels a bit like, not my style, so I change it all. Uh, but yeah, there's, like, a lot of options, all of them, basically. Let's see how naked we can make them, and you're just like, oh. And like, the irony is all of the male characters I play are basically shirtless. 
<laughs> like, that's the irony there, I guess. Dragonov's a high technical character if you get some of his shit going too. He's pretty impressive, but like, I just, there was a whole phase with me and then it's just like, I lost interest. Interesting character that I just stopped caring about after Tekken 5. Like, I played him for Tekken 5 and was like, nice! And then I was like, never playing him again. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why. Every time I do that stance, no one falls for it, no matter what distance I'm at. No one's ever going to fall for the counter. Yeah, spin kick him to oblivion. Like, if they had an outfit for Josie where it was essentially Fakarom's outfit, but she was wearing a tank top, I would I would put her in that, because that makes sense, because Muay Thai. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she was just wearing, like, basically the same outfit, the shorts and, like, the like, hand wraps and stuff. But they don't have that. They have various kinds of fashion outfits and high heels and shit for her, and I'm like... I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm not here to dress them up like they're dolls. I'm here to just make them look like acceptable. You know what I mean? What I think looks cool or like not even bother if their standard is okay. Round one. Fight. Like with this fucker I'm out there, I've actually not done anything except change the shorts to black. That's all I've done. And they're left with a lot of the detailing as is. I think change the hand wraps to like rope instead, because I'm edgy like that. I've always used basically the standard character. King, I just change it to a luchador mask and change his trousers to black too. That's literally all I do. I change his color scheme from dark blue to black. Because I think it's cool. The black and the gold do work quite well on both characters. A lot of the female characters in Tekken 7, I just literally cannot stand the outfits that are standard for them because it's like they've walked out of a random, fairly bad taste like designer outlet and I'm just like, is, is that the best that the designers could do? Okay. It's like no options. I'm like, oh no. It literally puts me off playing certain characters and it's a shame. I think I just got a new version of the same rope outfit. <laughs> rope armor. Rope hand wraps for in there. Uh, a few more matches and then we're, uh, we'll call it quits. Sometimes I just play this and then when I'm doing the post commentary, I'm a bit like, oh, I played this for a half hour straight. <laughs> just fighting. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way for me to get better, but like, it's only against AI, you know what I mean? It's not like it's like, human players, so it's like, it's teaching me real bad habits, actually. But, I live in China, my Wi-Fi sucks, how am I supposed to be playing against people? Maybe if I lived in Japan. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about moving lately. Dashing straight, yeah. I will try to throw the jumping man. Like I'm king all of a sudden. Just get him out of my face with a lashing kick, like nope. <laughs> get him out of the way. Denial. No. Swept. Oh. He's just pressing lighter buttons on me at every point. <laughs> Just a random tap on the side. <laughs> the Rave Temple. 
That's just literally every tech and thing is just the wob wob music in the background and you're like, what? <laughs> Did we get another match? Maybe another match. Yeah, another match. Maybe. I think I lose this match. If it's the last match, it's probably Come a loss. Let me talk to your real Round one. Oh, Anna, why? Fight. I tried Anna and Nina, and I was never a huge fan of their fighting style, so I just kind of quit, you know? <laughs> Axe kick, bitch. Yeah, lashing kick. I can, I can win. Oh. Yeah, jump knee. Round two. Fight. One, one of my Thai boxing coaches was this Thai guy. And uh, when we were doing pad work, he used to go, jump knee, jump knee. And I'd be so tired after like sparring with him. And at the end, he'd always be like, jump knee, jump knee. And he literally couldn't say very much English. And he'd just be, jump, jump. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm going to lose. Stop relying on the rage art. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> God damn it. Watching yourself is a special kind of torture where you're like, wow, I don't, you know, you're shouting at yourself. <laughs> like, why did I do that? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't run at the flip kick. This is where, like, it's been half an hour straight, to be fair. And my brain just goes, how do button? <laughs> so, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>